The Old Man and Death. An old laborer, bent double with age and toil, was gathering sticks in the forest. At last he grew so tired and hopeless that he threw down the bundle of sticks and cried out, I cannot bear this life any longer. Ah, I wish death would only come to me and take me. Just after he spoke, death, a grisly skeleton, appeared and said to him, What would you like of me, mortal? I heard you call me. Please, sir, replied the woodcutter. Would you kindly help me to lift this bundle of sticks onto my shoulder? Teaching of the story is. We would often be sorry if our wishes were gratified. The One-Eyed Doe A doe had the misfortune to lose one of her eyes and could not see anyone approaching her on that side. So to avoid any danger she always used to feed on the high cliff near the sea with her sound eye looking towards the land. By this means she could see whenever the hunters approached her on land and often she escaped. But the hunters found out that she was blind of one eye and hiring a boat rowed under the cliff where she used to feed. And shoot her from the sea. Ah, cried she with her dying voice. You cannot escape your fate. Teaching of the story is. You cannot escape your fate. The Lion in Love A lion once fell in love with a young maiden and proposed marriage to her parents. The old people did not know what to say. They did not like to give their daughter to the lion. Yet they did not wish to enrage the king of the beasts. At last the father said, We feel highly honored by your majesty's proposal. But, you see our daughter is a young girl. And we fear that as the object of your affection you might possibly do her some injury. Mighty, I venture to suggest that your majesty should have your claws removed and your teeth extracted, then we would gladly consider your proposal again. The lion was so much in love that he had his claws trimmed and his big teeth taken out. But when he came again to the parents of the young girl, they simply laughed in his face, for he was no longer fearsome. Teaching of the story is Love can tame the wildest. The Bald Man and the Fly There once was a bald man sat down after work on a hot summer's day. A fly came up and kept buzzing about his bald head, stinging him from time to time. The man aimed a blow at his little enemy. But his palm came on his head instead and again the fly tormented him. But this time the man was wiser, and said you will only injure yourself if you take notice of despicable enemies. Teaching of the story is. You will only injure yourself if you take notice of despicable enemies. The Fox and the Stork At one time the fox and the stork were on visiting terms and seemed very good friends. So the fox invited the stork to dinner and for a joke put put nothing before her but some soup in a very shallow dish. This the fox could easily lap up but the stork could only wet the end of her long bill in it and left the meal as hungry as she began. I am sorry, said the fox. The soup is not to your liking. Pray do not apologize, said the stork. I hope you will return this visit and come and dine with me soon. So a day was appointed when the fox should visit the stork. But when they were seated at the table, their dinner was contained in a very long-necked jar with a narrow mouth, in which the fox could not insert his snout. All he could manage to do was to lick the jar from outside. 
I will not apologize for the dinner, said the stork. Because one bad turn deserves another. Teaching of the story is. One bad turn deserves another. The Shepherd's Boy There was once a young shepherd boy who tended his sheep at the foot of a mountain near a dark forest. It was rather lonely for him all day, so he thought upon a plan by which he could get a little company and some excitement. He rushed down towards the village calling out, Wolf, Wolf. The villagers came out to meet him and some of them stopped with him for a considerable time. This pleased the boy so much that a few days later, he tried the same trick, and again the villagers came to his help. But shortly after this a wolf actually did come out of the forest, and began to worry the sheep. And the boy of course cried out, Wolf, wolf, still louder than before. But this time the villagers, who had been fooled twice before, thought the boy was again deceiving them. So nobody stirred to come to his help. The wolf made a good meal off the boy's flock. And when the boy complained, the wise man of the village said, A liar will not be believed, even when he speaks the truth. Teaching of the story is, a liar will not be believed, even when he speaks the truth. The Goose with Golden Eggs One day a countryman, going to the nest of Ho's Goose, found there an egg all yellow and glittering. When he picked it up, it was heavy as lead and he was going to throw it away because he thought a trick had been played upon him. But he took it home on second thought and soon found it to his delight that it was an egg of pure gold. Every morning the same thing occurred and he soon became rich by selling his golden eggs. As he grew greedy and thinking to get at once all the gold the goose could give, he killed the goose and opened it, only to find nothing. Greed often overreaches itself. The Fox, the Rooster and the Dog One moonlight night a fox was prowling about a farmer's hen coop, and saw a cock roosting high up beyond his reach. Good news, good news, he cried. Why, what is that? said the rooster. King Lion has declared a universal truce. No beast may hurt a bird henceforth, but all shall dwell together in brotherly friendship. Why, that is good news, said the rooster, and there I see someone coming, with whom we can share the good tidings. And so saying he craned his neck forward and looked afar off. What is it you see, said the fox. It is only my master's dog that is coming towards us. What, going so soon, he continued, as the fox began to turn away as soon as he had heard the news. Will you not stop and congratulate the dog on the reign of universal peace? I would gladly do so, said the fox, but I fear he may not have heard of King Lion's decree. Teaching of the story is. When someone is thinking of harming others, they should expect the same behavior in return. The Bundle of Sticks An old man on point of his death summoned his sons around him to give them some parting advice. He ordered his servants to bring in a bundle of sticks and said to his oldest son, Break it. The son strained and strained but with all his efforts was unable to break the bundle. The other sons also tried but none of them was successful. Untie the sticks, said the father. And each of you take a stick. When they had done so, he called out to them. Now, break and each stick was easily broken. 
You see my meaning, said the father. Teaching of the story is. Unity gives strength. The Crow and the Pitcher A crow, half dead by thirst, came upon a pitcher which had once been full of water. But when the crow put its beak into the mouth of the pitcher he found that only very little water was left. And that he could not reach far enough down to get at it. He tried and tried, but at last had to give up in despair. Then a thought came to him. And he took a pebble and dropped it into the pitcher. Then he took another pebble and dropped that into the pitcher. Then he took another pebble and dropped that into the pitcher. Alas, at last, he saw the water mount up near him. And after casting in a few more pebbles, Ha, was able to quench his thirst and save his life. Teaching of the story is. Little by little dose the trick. <laughs>